Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on adding gauges to reports using Bold Report Designer. Before getting into the process, let's take a look at the gauge report item itself. Gauges are used to visualize key performance indicators that track the progress made toward a target or goal. When placed inside a tablix or matrix, gauges can illustrate values inside every cell. In bold reports, we have provided radial and linear gauges with pointer and range properties. The pointer indicates the gauge's current value. The range indicates the status of values on the gauge, and it is defined by start and end values. Radial gauges are circular visualizations, for representing key performance indicators. In bold reports, we have provided a radial gauge widget with half circle and auto variance. The auto type is used to provide custom start and sweep angles. The radial gauge has three pointer types, needle, marker, and bar. The marker pointer has a variety of marker styles that can be used, including circle, rectangle, diamond, and triangle. The needle pointer has a cap, which can be displayed or hidden. Linear gauges present key performance indicators in a rectangular shape. In bold reports, we have provided a linear gauge with horizontal, vertical, and auto orientations. The auto type customizes the orientation based on the height and width of the gauge. The linear gauge has two pointer types, marker and bar. The marker pointer has marker styles that include circle, rectangle, diamond, and triangle. Gauges can be used in a wide range of report scenarios. In sales, they are used to show target sales versus closed sales. In consumer packaged goods, they are used to show demand versus production. In this video, we are going to design a company revenue report that analyzes estimated versus actual revenue per year for five consecutive years. We are going to visualize the actual revenue using radial and linear gauges with the following conditions. If the actual revenue is less than 50% of the estimated revenue, then the gauge color should be red. If the actual revenue is between 50% and 75% of the estimated revenue then the gauge should be orange. If the actual revenue is greater than 75% of the estimated revenue, then the gauge color should be green. Now, let's dive into creating a revenue report using Bold Reports Designer. First, we'll create a new report. Create a new report, and name it Gauge Report. You can learn how to create your first report, from the link provided in this video's description. Second, let's create a data set to assign data to the gauge. Create a new data source, name it Revenue Details using the JSON Data Connector. And click the Connect button. Create a new data set and name it Revenue Dataset. Click the Finish button. A data set will be created. I have provided a link for a video on creating a data source and data set using the JSON Data Connector, as well as a documentation link for JSON queries, in the video's description. Let's start configuring the estimated and actual revenue data in a table report item. Drag, and drop the table report item from the item panel to the designer surface. Add the necessary columns. Then, configure the header text, and data for each column. To set the header text content, focus on the first cell in the table report item. And enter the column header text in the content property. You can see the header text assigned to the correct cell. Then we can assign the required fields to each table cell. We are going to show the estimated revenue in currency format. Click the estimated revenue data cell. Then, click the icon next to the format property. The format dialog will open. In the format dialog, change the type value to currency. 
and the decimal places value to zero. Enable the Use 1000 Separator option. Click OK. Similarly, change the format value for actual revenue data. Change the width of the column and height as required. And format the table. We have customized the table, so let's preview the report by switching to preview mode. You can see the estimated and actual revenue details, displayed in the table report item. Next, we are going to see how to add a radial gauge in a table cell. The gauge report items are located in the deviation category, in the item panel. Drag a radial gauge report item from the item panel, and drop it in the fourth cell of the table report item. After dropping the radial gauge item into the table cell, the gauge's properties will be listed in the properties panel. Now, Let's see how to assign values to the radial gauge. Under the data category, click the icon next to value. And click the expression option. The expression dialog will open for the value. Enter the actual revenue expression. Click OK. Click the icon next to the maximum property. Select expression and then select Maximum. Now, map the estimated revenue expression field. Click OK. Click the icon next to the interval property. Select Expression. In the Expression dialog, enter the expression for calculating half the value of estimated revenue. Click OK. Click the Preview button. You will see the value, the maximum value, and the interval value for the radial gauge is applied. Click the Design button. Now we are going to assign values to the pointer. Under the Pointer category, change the Placement Property value to Inside. The Type value to Needle and the width value to 13. Click the icon next to the color property. And select Expression. In the Expression dialog, enter the expression for differentiating between achieved and unachieved targets. Click OK. Click the icon next to the cap property. And select Advanced. In the Advanced Options that open, change the Width Property value to 20. On Preview, you will see the needle pointer, and the cap is assigned to the radial gauge. Next, we are going to assign values to the gauge tick marks. Under the Tick Mark category, turn on the Major Tick property. Click the icon next to the major tick property. And select Advanced. The advanced properties are displayed. Click the icon next to the color property. And select Expression. In the Expression dialog, enter the expression for differentiating between achieved and unachieved targets. Click OK. Change the length value to 8. And the width value to 2. Change the major tick placement value to outside. On preview. You will see the tick mark is assigned to the radial gauge. Next, we are going to assign values to the gauge range. Under the range category, turn on the enable range property. The placement, range, width, and color properties will be displayed. Change the placement property value to cross. Enter the start range value as zero. To assign the end range value, click the icon next to the range property. Select expression. 
and then select end. In the expression dialog, enter the actual revenue expression. Click OK. Enter the start width property value as 30. Click the icon next to the color property. And click the expression button. The expression dialog will open for the range color. In the expression dialog, enter the expression for differentiating between achieved and unachieved targets. Click OK. Under the label category, turn off the enable label property. Now let's click the preview button to view the radial gauges. The radial gauge in the first row is red, because the actual revenue is much less than the estimated revenue, that is actual revenue less than 50% estimated revenue. The radial gauges in the second and third rows are orange, because the actual revenue is moderate, compared to the estimated revenue, that is 50% estimated revenue less than actual revenue less than 75% estimated revenue. The radial gauges in the last two rows are green, because the actual revenue is more than 75% of the estimated revenue. We have seen how to populate revenue data in a table, insert radial gauges in that table, and assign values to the radial gauges. Now we are going to see, how to add a linear gauge to a table cell. We can also create the revenue report using linear gauges, to display the same values in another format. Drag a linear gauge report item from the item panel, to the fifth cell of the table report item. Under the data category, set the expression for the actual revenue field value. Then set the estimated revenue field value, using an expression in the maximum range value. Enter the expression value, to calculate half the estimated revenue value in the interval property. On preview. You will see the value, the maximum value, and the interval value for the linear gauge is applied. Under the pointer category, set the placement property value to inside. Select marker as the type property value. Enter the width value 25. Then assign the expression value in the expression dialog, for the color property. On preview. You will see the triangle marker, is assigned to the linear gauge. Under the tick mark category, turn on the major tick property. Assign the expression value to the color property, for differentiating between achieved and unachieved targets. Change the length value to 8. Change the major tick placement value to outside. On preview. You will see the tick mark is assigned to the linear gauge. Under the range category, turn on the enable range property. Select cross as the placement property value. Set the start range value to 0. Assign the actual revenue expression value to the end range property. Then change the start width and the end width values to 30. Assign the expression value in the expression dialog, for the color property. With everything set up, let's click the preview button to view the report. We will see the linear gauge is displayed in the fifth cell, visualizing the estimated versus actual revenue of the company. Thus we have designed a revenue report with linear gauges, and radial gauges, to visualize the estimated versus actual revenue of the company for five consecutive years. I hope you learned some of the essentials of working with the gauge report item. We'll see more techniques and report designs in the future. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.